Logan Kane here, and this is episode 5 of Shadowgate. Last time, well, where did we come from? I can't even remember. Right. We killed, yeah, that's right, we took out the goblin. And we just ventured further down. And one of the multiple paths we could have gone. And now we came up here, we checked out the angel, nothing much of interest. Standing on, the, oh, I don't want to look at the, I don't want to look at that. Let's go down these stairs and see what happens. Nearly slip on the damp, well-worn stones. Well, that guy's dead. And that's something I can cast some. Is that a bow? I think that's a bow. Situated on the edge of the deep chasm, the castle defenses end in a fortified watchtower. Alright, what do we got in here? Ah, oh, dang it. Let's go through the sack, please. No, don't use the sack. You rummage through the sack, finding two scrolls and a key. Taking these, you then discard the sack. Okay. What's in the scrolls? Open up, baby. Let's see what you got. You are drawn to one particular passage. Man, that reminds me of Paper Sorcerer. You're drawn to this one piece in this giant tome immediately. Follow the path that the ancients have hidden. To find the way beyond the wall of wisdom, one must follow the path that Aluros has trod. For that leads to the secret they have studied. And the other scroll. You read the words on the scroll. One particular word says, Flumores. Flumor. I don't know what that means. In your mind's eye, you see a glyph glowing with power. And the same as the rest. And what about this here bow? I like this bow. Long ash bows in serious need of repair. The hue string is fraying in several places. All right. Of course, my immediate thought is, I have an arrow. I have a bow. I have a bow and arrow. Oh, I knocked the bow. That sounds like a terrible thing. No, 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 I don't want to use it. Let's see what we got. Silver-tipped arrow is knocked in the de decrepit bow. Well, what do we got here? You rummage through the corpse's tattered clothing, but fail to find anything useful, and if I try to use it... Knowing this wizard surely died a horrific death, he decided against disturbing the unfortunate soul. Skeletal remains of a long dead bird, blah 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 blah. Stone of Bliss, strange powers. Well, let's invoke it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're used to that by now. That too. In arrogance and pride, we thought we could prevent Talimar from turning to darkness. We have surely paid for these sins. But this matters not, simple soldier. What is done, is done. Time is fleet, so bend an ear to my voice. Hope lies within your breast. I say it again. Talimar the Black fears it, even as he searches for a way to rip it from you, even as he binds the dwarves to his madness, driving them deeper into the catacombs. And he will not stop until Bastard. he rips every stone from the castle's foundation. Don't screw with the drawer. But Talimar believes that a great beast slumbers far below. Mayhap this is true, for I have uncovered much, yet know so little. Of this, however, I am certain. The Warlock Lord knows not of your heritage. This is our great advantage, our great hope. Seek the terrible skull door of Tor Drakan. What lies beyond its threshold is unknown, even to me. A great behemoth, an ancient evil, a source of power. Be wary, boy. Heed my words. Do what I cannot. Go where I cannot. Learn the secrets of what Talimar seeks. Trust in what you find. 
Okay. Again, not a lot of information. A little bit. Not a ton. Well, I guess it's time to go back. And now, I need to remember this... Maybe they want... You kneel your head and bow... You kneel and bow your head, paying your respects to this iconic image of the being Reliant. I wonder if I can use a torch on it. A regular torch. Nothing happened. So if I remember correctly, when we looked at it, an empty slot is set within its outstretched arm. So it's looking to hold something. And why not? We'll try out my dirk. Cut a piece of marble. Why would I do that? Before I even do that, I'm kind of wary about using a hammer on an iconic image. Even with your mighty swing of a hammer, barely managed to crack the marble. Alright. Do you want a rock? Pretty sure I already tried the skull. Alright. Let's go back. So what's down this way? The far side looks to have caved in, making the way forward impossible. Can I burn that stuff? No. I guess I'd need a shovel or something. I doubt the hammer will work, but since I'm looking in my inventory anyway. Let's see what lays beyond door number two. The rich wood of the door is inscribed with a lion breathing fire. The door's locked. A lion breathing fire. That's probably going to kill me. But what are we going to do? You jam the key in the keyhole hoping it will turn the lock. It doesn't. Can I just hammer down, hammer it down? Nah. Well, I guess we're not going that way. Ah, yes, that's right. We had three more ways to go over here. Let's try the east tower. The door opens. Shall we? Well, what do I do? I get more torches. Is there anything here that... Oh, yeah, there's more of these. See, these are tattered and... One of the things I wanted to try was lighting one on fire. No, it certainly works. Let's burn the fabric away. Yep, there's nothing back there. Let us continue on. The cold gray stone in this tower landing perfectly... The cold gray stone of this tower landing perfectly reflects your dour mood. Alright, what's up here? Of course I'm going to set it on fire. I might set those other ones on fire from before. Oh, I can't reach it. That makes sense. Can I open this? It appears to be locked from the other side. Okay, what about this? The swirling clouds and howling wind hinted a terrible strength of unnatural weather that surrounds the castle. Can I use it somehow? The window is already opened. Am I going to use my grappling hook again? You fumble with the grappling hook, trying to lodge it into the wall, so as you might repel down its length, the crumbling mortar... Nope. My ambitious plan. Well, let's... Sally forth! Fog creeps down the stair and past the bleak stone walls of this tower landing. What do I see? I see a torch. And it's mine. I can hit this one. A whistling, fell wind forces its way around the edges of the door jam. Strange. There is a carved pumpkin on the wooden door. We attempt to open it. The muffled sound of laughter is heard from the room beyond. You knock on the door. You hear a faint voice asking, ask, is that the best you can do at a costume? At least put something appropriate on your head that goes with the mask. <clears throat> what? Use thyself on what? Use thyself on the door. Seems like a rather odd thing to do. Okay. Well... Unequip mask. Can I equip this? You swap one helm for another. 
I wish... Can I see my equipment? Alright, what if I unequip... Okay, yeah, I can see the mask is on there. So let's go ahead and equip the mask again. And give a nice little knock. Tisk tisk tisk. Put something appropriate on your head that goes with the mask. Well, I'll just sally forth. Maybe we'll find, like, a headdress or something. Ends abruptly in a stone wall. There sure is a lot of stone in this castle. Well, duh. Intricate, colorful weaving of this tapestry highlights the epic figure of a hero readying himself for battle. Well, what am I going to do? I'm going to set it on fire. Burn, baby. Light tap tapestry on fire. The hunger flames makes quick work. Oh, there's nothing behind it. Huh. Well, now I kind of feel bad about it. What's this? You've seen this design on the door countless times and still can't tell what it's supposed to be. Door opens. Shall we? What is that? Is that a cannon designed to shoot the gods? Or a telescope? Could be either. The circular moon, moon room houses a massive telescope. There we go. As well as all manner of stargazing paraphernalia. What about this baby? Star chart is affixed to the wall. You recognize some of the constellations. The pouring goblet of salvation. And the broken sword of conquest. Well, let's take a look at this here book. Ah, dag nabbit. You open the book to an interesting entry. Okay. You read the handwritten entry on the page. I have noted several observations over the past fortnight. The stars have moved into an unheard of alignment. The unnamed hero, the hourglass depicting the endless time, the broken sword of betrayal, the hooded figure of Thantos, the life stealer. All these constellations are all out of season and position, yet they are here, chasing across the night skies. Unbelievable! They can only portend a time of terrible danger and upheaval. The entry is signed by Astronomer Laurel. Okay. What's this? The wood ornament table is constructed of rich amber wood from the Delvard forests. It has several drawers facing the wall. Can I open it? You open the drawers of the desk and find an old book, which you take and put in your satchel. Satchel is such a fun word. You begin reading near the top of the page. There I found the source of the strange and terrible visions. It called itself Behrithum. A being beyond understanding, and described its mission as a warder whose purpose is to guard. When I queried it, the being opened my mind to the terrors of fear, death, disease, and strife, and other beings I could not name. These entries were real and ancient, and desired nothing more than to subjugate the races. Alright. Is this one something too? Can I use it? Can I use this? Alright, whoa, I can walk into it? Oh, I guess I go up to it. I'm silly. Like a finger pointed towards the moon, the massive iron telescope is aimed towards the clear sky. You hope you won't miss all that heavenway go -wa -wa? What? Let's use it. You step in close and look through the telescope. Alright, so we got some stuff. Okay. I seem to remember that this particular star is named after Aquadex, the mythical god of water of the ancient Trine race. Man, this whole thing glows when I turn on the glowy stuff. This far and distant sun called Pharos, it honors the fallen one from the skies that came to carve out the plains of fire in the southern lands. Did I do this one? What did I just do up there? So the stars glow prominently within the strange heaven, one that resembles the tail of some ancient beast. Why, that's Mahal's tail. I'd know that constellation from anywhere, Yerik says excitedly. The magi and fortune tellers call this twinkling star the Watcher of the All-Seeing Eye. The bright northern star represents the magical eagle that brings the morning sun each and every day. And then that's just several of the stars. Yorick, do you have anything to say about this? 
The wizards were always studying the stars. They would often use the patterns of constellations in their spells and mechanisms. Well, that's a hint. So bam, 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 bam. That's useful for some reason. Let's step away. Now I want to do the stepping towards it. Okay, that does the same thing. Nothing particularly interesting. Let us proceed. The ash gray wood door, door is locked? Well, maybe that's where this key goes. I'm pressing the wrong freaking button. Wrong freaking button! This, this, this. Doesn't work. Hmm. Well, this is where I want to go, but I need something to wear on my head. Hmm. So these stones are, it appears to have fallen from the ceiling. Ooh, that's interesting. What do you have to say, Yorick? Search the rooms of the castle. Okay, whatever. Generic! Not even worth reading out loud. Well, let's go west. I know that one's tempting, but I'm going to go this way. Or I'm not going to go this way. The door was scuffed and dented almost as if someone tried to force it open. The door is locked. Well, yet again, let's bring our key out to try. Doesn't work. What about this one? Door is locked as well. Maybe that one will finally use this damn key and I can throw it away. Haha! -ha. You insert the key in the lock and turn. Success! The door is now unlocked. Having served its purpose, you throw the key away. Because, yeah, there's never been a key that opens more than one door, especially old freaking keys. It's skeleton keys and whatnot. Well, there's a torch. Large broken stone, surely some remnant to the castle. Okay. What is this? I hear water trickling. The rock is filled with stagnant, discolored water. <laughs> it's attached to the wall. Of course I drink it. You dip your hands in the stone water, rubbing them clean, and attempt to clean them. Okay. Hmm. Do I have anything that makes sense to put in there? Maybe a skull. Let's put a skull in there. All right, let's let's move on. Light breeze bros downstairs, playfully tussling your hair. Well, that's scary. All right, the window is open. Swirling clouds, and I'm sure as hell gonna try. Crumbling mortar, same as the last one. This one opens up though. Some mal malevolent force is sucking all the light from this room. You sense that the very darkness itself is alive. Concentrating on the glyph, you release the power of the spell. Your magic is engulfed by the living darkness that inhabits this room. Yep. Oh, right. I have another spell, don't I? Flumoris. Like fluorescent. Unnoticed by the living darkness of the room. All right, let's get out of here. I'm thinking maybe I find a fire elemental or something. Another torch. Oh no, don't use the torch. Take the torch. If we're gonna use the torch, we're gonna use this one. All right, nothing there. Let us proceed. That statue is creepy. I get the feeling if I try and go into this window, it'll kill me. Drabstone walls offer little respite, merely adding to your sour mood. I'm very upset about being in here. Alright. It opened up. Let's take a look at this thing. Marble statue covered in its 
in the form of a female warrior with a spear, sits on the landing. Perhaps it is fashioned in the image of a goddess. Can I use it? In show of respect, you bow down briefly to the deity of this, for this figure portrays. What about the window? No, 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 not the... There we go. Swirling clouds. Same thing. And if I resisted doing this, I wouldn't be me. Yep, crumbling mortar. Yada, yada, yada. Let's go over here. Let's go. Oh, hello, girl. I've seen you on the cover, on the pic in the pictures on good old games. When you enter the sto strong room, the woman lounging in front of you begins to speak. I do not know what he sees in you. I am not impressed. She shrugs before continuing. Forgive me and allow me to introduce myself. I am Malor Khal, Chief Lieutenant of the Drakrahan. You wonder what would bring me to this wretched keep? Surely nothing less than the summoning of a great lord. Nearly a score of years removed, Talamar the Black beckoned me, and I answered him gladly. The forces of Drakahan were mine to command. Hell yeah. They fell upon these wizards like rabid wolves. Their powers, their elemental pets, they were nothing to one such as he. Now all have fallen or fled, all but one, for he is timeless. The coward has barricaded himself within his tower, an ancient artifact within his grasp. But we will have him still, or if my goblins do not pull him from his hole, when my lord returns, the wizard's head shall lie at his feet. This reminds me of Skyrim or something. I don't know. Where I get to choose to follow her and take out the guy I've been following the whole time, or I can try and take her out. Unlike my underlings, I will not underestimate you. She finishes with a low snarl, her barley growling, growing, transforming. She is a changeling, a deadly race, able to take the form of a monstrous creature. Her transformation complete, the beast appears to smile, taunting you with a flip of her claws. Oh, you want to taunt me, huh? Well, let's just see what happens when I shoot you with a silver-tipped arrow. But first, I want to take a look at you. Werewolf, once a fairly attractive female, human lieutenant is poised to attack. Watch, I'm going to pull it back to shoot, and it's going to break. You quickly lift the bow and fire. The silver arrow fires flies true, burning deep... At burying itself deep into the heart of the wolf woman. The beast falls to the ground, and within moments, dies with a look of utter surprise on her face. Well, what's this werewolf got? You pat down the wolf, hoping to find hidden pockets. Wait a minute, why would the thing have any pockets? I don't know, she had clothes on before. Alright. The blueprint shows an elevation. <coughs> Excuse me. Of the castle towers. Even though you can't understand the writing, you recognize that the drawings represent the living castle shadow gate. I'll take that with me. The stuffed head of a trophy bear hangs on the stone wall. I can't do anything with that. Torch! Ah, almost missed a torch. Take the torch with a flourish and put it in your satchel. There are only two words on the cover of this tomb. Coe's Log. Yay, I opened it right. Last entry. You read the entry on the last page. Summer Moon, year 1157. The wizard remains within his tower. Hold up like some cornered animal. I have lost scores of my best troops trying to gain entrance. And for what? For naught. I do not agree on wasting such resources. But the master has commanded that our endeavor look legitimate. Intrigue means nothing to me as I would rather use my arts to eliminate those nettlesome roots. However, my orders are clear. The Shroud must continue. Well, it turns out I was wrong. I and mean, we took out the wolf without an option. Loaf of bread looks more than a bit stale. All right, well, we're going to take it anyway. Put the bread in your satchel. All right. I want to do something with the wolf head. 
York, what do you have to say? Never feared the Banshee's curse. They must have known a cure for the affliction. Search the rooms of the castle. I remember there was a great library where many of the wizards' secrets were stored. Is that it in here? The room sits at the peak of one of the ca castle's tallest towers. I didn't get any keys or anything, did I? Well, what the hell am I supposed to do? Oh, the desk has something in it. And I found stuff. I better give this to a dog at some point. Cut of meat. Wow, raw looks to be slightly rotten. We're gonna open that up. What was the point of that? I got a key. And I got a key. Yet one had to be in a sack. Alright, I got two keys. I feel more accomplished about this. Actually, you know what? We're gonna sit right here. That's enough for an episode five, eh? But yeah, that's it. Episode 5 of Shadowgate. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy.